Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles, brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. Welcome to the Porter Ray Podcast. Thank you, Blue Wire Studios, inside the Wynn Hotel and Casino. Got to do that drop. I appreciate y'all for having us. Porter Ray Podcast, bigger and better, been saying it forever, and uh, it is starting to become a reality. <laughs> and that's why I just keep saying that stuff out loud because I believe it and uh, I want to achieve it. All that being said, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> everything worked itself out. <laughs> yeah, how, how is this? How did it, How could this be? Hey man, everything worked itself out. So, and, um, and, and y'all know y'all haven't been seeing it for a little bit and y'all been probably been worried and wondering all that kind of stuff. Now they he called me. He called out, uh, and y'all been DM, be DMing him. Stop DMing him because he he stay up all night trying to appease y'all. And I said, don't do that. They don't care about you the way you think oh, he do. <laughs> um, no, but for real, uh, he called off like what three weeks in advance. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I told you this about. I feel uh, like it's been three weeks ago. January. Yeah, yeah. give or take ish. Hey, you didn't know what the heck was going on. He's yeah. Like, well, what's going on, man? Say, man, you know, starting a company, got to focus on getting my contractor's license and all that. So, you know. Handling I, business. Yeah, I had to handle business, yeah. And so, you know, as prepared as I can be, I've mm-hmm. been making sure that I don't want to do this show alone. Uh-huh. Bottom line. Yeah. I like talking to people. I like talking to the camera. So, technically, I'm supposed to be on today. Yeah, technically, <laughs> he's not supposed to be here today. And so, I just, I just, I just openly asked, hey, is any, does anyone want to come do the show? Anyone want to come do the show with yeah. me today? I had a feeling Carson wasn't going to make it. I knew Zatel wasn't going to make it. That's another conversation for another time. And you said, I don't know. And yeah. so I was like, cool. That's the response I was expecting so that I can move forward and but get my guy. I my told guy. you I'll possibly be back the week of David Benavides. So I was trying to make it happen. Right. And so uh, Andre Durrell, uh, who we spent a good 15-ish minutes trying to get on the show today mm-hmm. uh, remotely, of course. I think he's in Florida, not positive, either Florida or Michigan. Um, he was not able to make it happen, and uh, I'm, I'm relaying, relaying messages from the producers to him, and we're sure-handed in here, sure-handed in there, and it's like nobody could figure it out. I said, yo, do the one thing you haven't done yet. Go get your wife, because they can always figure that stuff out. Our kids. None, of, yeah, or or kids. Nonetheless, um, we weren't able to figure it out, and I said, "Yo, we'll just try this again another day." And who do I have to my left? Yeah, I made it happen, man. You know, not gonna let us down today, yeah, big no, dog. Hey, man. I was like, as as we were, as I was saying, "Yo, we'll do this again." I was like, "What would I have done if if, if Ant was not here? <laughs> would I have just like say, yo, we gonna we're not gonna do the show today? We got some lives coming up next nah, week.' You so. did it. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I brought somebody out the back." Probably, out the back of the yeah. game over here. Probably would have just had somebody walking by say, yo, you know anything about boxing? Yeah. Well, what do you know? So I'll, I'll bounce off of, you, off of you. So, But this is a big week of, week of boxing. Yeah. Can't miss it. Let me go back right quick real, to last week. Okay. Because you oh, know yeah, I went to Australia. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you seen snakes? Huh? No. I gave you the warning. Yeah. Well, that was a whole nother thing. Hey, man. And Andy, Andy's right. Like, we need to start a, what is it? Uh, a world tour? Pl- no. Plumbing uh, okay. advice of the day. <laughs> I, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. People try to tell me to start a, a plumbing a uh, little YouTube channel. Uh huh. Because the way I just be, you know, I, I, they say I'm dramatic. Uh, uh <laughs> you like on the show or like when you do do your work? <laughs> when they say when I'm doing work, but you know, <laughs> actually, with my plumbing company, it's funny because we're changing the whole swag. No longer that old school Caucasian plumber. Uh huh. This is our. This is we got the dry fit sh- with shorts. We got the dry fit. <laughs> Uh, sweaters. Yeah, yeah. I got my cat. Yeah, all the all the uh, stuff been coming in. Got the hat stuff. You like? They got. Yeah, yeah. They the we switching away. the game, baby. That's the we switching away. the game. We ain't that old school yeah. plumber no more. Yeah. We ain't showing up to your house looking like your but uncle. Is it? But it's not port away plumbing. No, it's a plus plumbing. Oh, a plus. Why would it be port away? A plus port away plumbing. plumbing. <laughs> no. Say that three times. No, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, but yeah. And so we out there. Yeah, we getting that done. Uh. Hey, uh, you know what? I when you know I'm cheap. I don't buy nothing. You always tell me you need to get a new car. No matter how much money I got, you know you I won't do it. What hey, you doing? No, hey, hey, Sean. I seen that my boy came, dro- rode my boy's Lambo truck. Fell in love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said I fell in love. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna get him one of these. <laughs> All right. Hey, if I go from my car to a Lambo truck, that's the craziest. That's, that's the most your car on steroids. <laughs> that's the most crazy <laughs> jump in the world. Yeah. 
No, nah, yeah, she'll car on steroids. Yeah, yeah, but no, nah, you know, just been out here, just working. But hold up, let's go back right quick. Australia, man. So, oh, I, yeah. so I worked Fox Sports Newark. Australia. Okay. But the co-main event call that I did was streamed onto Showtime. Didn't we hear your voice? On- That's what I'm saying. We did. Yeah. Okay. But we didn't post it. I mean, I don't. What I don't, was the fight before? We didn't suppose to. What I was the fight before? We definitely heard your voice on that one. Uh, so the fight before uh, was Dubai. Uh, I'm just saying where you were at. Before. Oh yeah, that but that was ESPN. Okay. Yeah. But you working? But what I'm saying is, uh-huh. bef- so I came back from Dubai, and we we mentioned all of the the um, networks that I've been on. You said which one haven't you you haven't done Showtime yet, mm-hmm. and I said no. Nah. You was like that one's coming. That one's coming. A week later, I end up in Australia, and they actually streamed the co-main event on the Showtime platform. I don't know if they those guys just they were like, you guys just come in for the main event. Oh, so they okay, did yeah. the main event yeah. with uh, with Abner and excuse me and those guys at a studio in New York. Mm-hmm. But technically, I've done Showtime because my my co-main call was on the Showtime network. So. I'm, I think I've I've crossed all of all of the networks off, big dog. And I want to pre I want to tell you that I appreciate you for speaking that you know into existence. I said that one time. You was like, see, he don't even he don't give a damn. <laughs> That's how real y'all know he ain't. Because how you not remember what you said to me? What I say? You was like, we gonna speak that into the six. No, no, no. We gonna. I was telling you that they got their thing, and I, I can't, and I, I was like, no, you no was limits. Like, Did you know? You was like, no, no. We gonna speak this into existence right now. Oh, oh you got Showtime. Show, oh, you got okay, Showtime. I got, I got you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, so, and you said your name Showtime. It only makes yeah. I mean, Why I gotta tell yeah, you? I, I remember now. I, you know, I don't remember the stuff I say. Shout to Stephen. Hey, Stephen, call Sean. No, nah, I don't even mean nothing no nah, more, Steven, man. It, it meant so oh, much to me to tell you that today. You? I appreciate it. Yeah, I, even though I didn't know you was going to be here today, it meant so much for me to tell you that today. Hey, shout out to Steven. <laughs> Steven need to call Sean. Y'all got to talk. Yeah, we, we, you know. We, okay. It'll happen eventually. Hey, before anyway. we get the show start, hey, shout out to my man, uh, uh, my man Mike over at Top Pick. Uh, you you wouldn't remember Mike. You probably would. But he, he was a, this is a shirt that I got on right now. He got some custom merch. Well, who the hell is Mike? Mike, uh, he came in and did the barbershop show with us in D.C. Uh, the kid. No, oh, no, 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 not the kid that, 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 that got the light voice. Not that kid. Uh-huh. Uh, this is another. He, he got a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. He does a lot with golden uh-huh. gloves out, out of D.C. area. Uh, he came into the barbershop? Yeah, he came into the barbershop. I'm going to get his stuff right here. But yeah, he, he, he's he been making us some stuff and finally sent it over. So I totally him appreciate what's it. His, what's his, uh, his? IG is the top, the top pick with a number one. Yeah, but he made us some custom merch. That's what I'm saying. What it says being, on the back. Being normal is weird. My wife calls me weird like probably yeah. once a day. It, yeah, it is what it is. This guy right here. And then he made you the Showtime. It's crazy because you Oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course yeah, I remember yeah. this guy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. He, he, was, he was everywhere we yeah, were. Yeah, he that was week. everywhere. It's more yeah. than just a barbershop. So, he made us some merch. And uh, got, got this one for you, too. Yeah. I appreciate you, big dog. Mike. So, that's actually a top and bottom. Okay. So the top has like... T- Damn, man. Now, now I feel little. Yeah. How, how top and bottoms fit in this little thing? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm going to it right now. This is going to be embarrassing. One, uh, top pick, <laughs> but uh, it says the Showtime Sean Porter. I appreciate that, man. That's Two-time world champion. He yeah. ain't say nothing about all the stuff I accomplished. And we actually... Because <laughs> you ain't accomplished <laughs> shit. But uh, we we stuck around um, at one point. Uh, it was after the weigh-in show. I stuck around and, and talked to him for a minute um, upstairs in the lobby of the hotel. Oh, that okay. the Wayans were in, yeah. So yeah, I, I I know exactly who you're talking about. I'm glad you showed me a picture of him. Yeah. yeah. So I I look forward to running into him again. Uh, wealth of knowledge right there in in the gamble boxing that that, that gentleman yeah. Mike has. So appreciate you, Mike, and uh, holler at that man. That's how you get to me, apparently. Yeah, you know. That's a, and shout out to my man. He said he might pull up this weekend. Come out to Vegas. Oh yeah. Yeah, come out to oh, Vegas. Yeah. You know, and, we and, we got stuff going on. And Mike, you whenever you get here, man, you always got a place on the podcast, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, he's straight welcome. up. He's welcome. I like him. Um, real quick, let's get to uh, let's do uh the the, the zone fights. Jojo that, Diaz that just happened. Uh, yeah. Who's who's the? It was a gr- good fight. Yeah. A lot of people felt like Jojo was r- robbed. Yeah. How you feel about that? Um, uh, Mercito uh, 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 Gaysta, I think is is how you pronounce his okay. last name. Um, I don't know, man. That that. 
those guys are on the same level. Yeah. So it's, it, it, it was it's really a good fight. Yeah. I mean, it was a split decision uh, uh, in, in, in Marcito's favor. Um, I mean, I can't really argue with it. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm because of where I come from and also because, I mean, I've been a part of it and I've seen it. You just, and I've said this so many times on the podcast, you have to separate yourself from the other guy. Eh. If you don't separate yourself, it, you leave in the hands of the... Yes, somebody has to win that 100-yard dash or that 100-meter dash, you know what I mean? And usually the guy who separates himself at the end is who ends up winning that fight, you know? And some fights are marathons, some fights are, are quick sprints. Yeah. And, um, you know, depending on how you run that, is how this one ended up. And JoJo has never had a fast pace um style. Um he's never really, you know, he's he's a he's a straight ahead fighter, but he's not, he's not, it's bing bing, bing, bing. I hit you, you hit me. And yeah. that's just kind of always been his style. You see a guy like Devin Haney clearly outboxes him while using his feet and his and his reach and and um I forgot Devin fought this fight went a lot the same as well. So yeah. Just JoJo, man. <laughs> It, I think did JoJo have a lot of hype coming out when like his, his build up? Well, between him and uh, and uh, Aerosmith Jr., they were the two top guys from the 2012 game oh, okay. team. Okay, and so it was uh, th those two, and also Jose Ramirez. I can't um, pretend like Jose was not on that team, and and Jose has held his own as a professional too. Obviously, we've seen what Arrow has done. I think JoJo of the three of those guys probably been the one who has underachieved mm -hmm. a little more than expected. Yeah, JoJo, uh, I, every time I always say, what did he fight at last? What was that fight at? Oh, wait, this, this very last fight? Yeah. Uh, 130, I do believe, yeah. JoJo, so little, I love him to see him at 126. He's very, 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 very little. Yeah, I might have to pull that one up. And I don't, th I don't know. This exactly. is coming from a real, real big guy, too. So, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I don't know. It's just JoJo, it's just, I don't know, man. This fight was at he 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 came in at one thirty nine for this fight. So one forty. This fight was probably catch weight. Oh, okay. 30, 30, 30, 36 or something like so that. So yeah, 30. if he could be disciplined on his weight, I'd love to see him contend max maybe one thirty. Yeah, preferably one twenty six. Yeah, just a very low guy, but <laughs> got your guy at the window, Sean. Oh, hold up, hold up. I'm looking at the wrong. But yeah, yeah. no, yeah, he one. came in at thirty nine. Okay, this one, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so we see where JoJo go from here. I mean, great fight. He showed up. I think one of his best performances in the last few years because there's been a lot of down performances from him. 37 fights uh, at 30 years old, uh, three straight losses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. really getting rocky for yeah. you at this point. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you, you're 30, talking about a resurgence of your career. That's going to take a level of commitment that you – probably haven't had in a long time because you're looking at three straight losses, three straight losses in one, two and practically three years. Yeah. So in three years, you haven't had what it, what it takes to keep your weight at 130. You, you, you fight at 135 should be fighting close to 130. You came into this fight at 139 and a half and ended up getting a, a split decision that didn't go your way, you know? So I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, you just, you, some fighters kind of get into that gray space, mm -hmm. you know. So, I was in the, I was in the gray space, and I was undefeated, or or maybe had one loss, yeah, um, something like that. You know what I mean? And it's just kind of how it goes, you know. Um, you get to a point where you're too good or too too tough, mm -hmm. and nobody wants to get in the ring with you. Boots Ennis, yeah, really, you're in a gray spot because. Hey, but right now, it's frustrating. You've been there. It's yeah, it's frustrating. You're in a gray yeah. spot because you're too good for anybody without a name. Yep. You don't want to fight anybody that doesn't have a name. You you want the money. The big dogs but you don't haven't know if been, it's worth. Yeah, but you you really don't have the following that that could get you the money and get you in the ring with guys like, for instance, Errol. It, it makes more sense for Errol to fight Keith because Keith has a name. Keith has been in the ring with some of the best and has the record and the list goes on. Boots just doesn't have that yet. He, Boots can say, well, I don't have it because you already gave, you gave it to me. You're in a great spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just kind of one of those those places right now where Boots is going to have to deal with it. I don't have no clue how JoJo is going to deal with yeah. it. Because JoJo's not, he's on the bottom of the great side. You know what I mean? He's not at the, you know, in the, at the top of the great side waiting to cross over, you know? And then uh, 
I mean, his opponent won, so he moves on. Then who knows what's next for him? Yeah. That's uh, they're one of those spaces where I, it's hard for me to throw out the Anthony uh, next fight predictions. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, uh, good luck to y'all. And so for Mar- Mercito, uh, what's his record? Um, he's thirty. I just he's got three it. losses. Thirty four and three. Yeah, he's got three losses, mm-hmm. and uh, one of those losses is a knockout. And mm-hmm. uh, I early, early on in his career, I was like, man, this kid is gonna be something to watch. And again, you know, some guys just don't develop, underdevelop, are further along, younger in their career, and then things catch up to them. The list kind of goes on. So, excuse me, Marcito was definitely one of those fighters that early on in his career, I thought he was going to be something to really watch. And his career also hasn't really panned out. So, fighters like Marcito, fighters like JoJo, at this point, I think a lot of times you look at those being fighters that other guys add to their resumes opposed to fighters that you promote to get into big fights. So I kind of think that might be the same situation for Mesito. So, But he did it with a victory. Yeah, for sure. But, hey, question. Talk to I him. don't know if somebody ever asked you this. You think you'll be well better known for your defeats than your victories? Yeah, that, that sucks. <laughs> and, and, no, but... You know, I see what you're it, saying, but it, it's it, it's such an honor because you're a warrior. Yeah, people dream to do what you did. Yeah, but it's just like literally, Sean, you fought. Kel Brook was peak. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Keith Thurman was peak. Yeah, Earl Spence was peak. Yeah, Terrence Crawford was peak, Sean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I never thought about it like that. Yeah, never thought about it like, like that. And you beat some world champions. You beat a lot of great fighters yeah. at their peak. You yeah. were just better than them at yeah. that moment. But like, but, like for instance, with the Errol Spence, the conversation yeah, and that was is, all classic fights. Yeah, only with the, the but Cal I hate Brooklyn the conversation. Uh, you were winning that fight. Yeah, you know what I mean? Know. It, it yeah, was, yeah. yeah. Trying so, to be your friend. It was frustrating. Terrence Crawford, <laughs> you were winning yeah, that fight. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, it, it sucks. But I think as time goes on, and as I start to do the things that I'm have done and I'm doing. I think, yeah, I think at the end of the day, everybody's just going to kind of respect everything that I've done. They, and, they, they already, yeah, yeah, you already yeah, skipped yeah. that. I, I yeah. get it from people that wanted me to send the word to you. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, man, we respect him. He did every. He wasn't yeah. scared to fight nobody. Yeah. He didn't care about across the street. He yeah. made it happen. Yeah. So so you uh, you missed the, the, the conversation last week, but that's kind of what it revolved around, uh, you know, how these fighters have to step up and throw the middle finger up. At the business. And you get pushback from that. You get pushback right? from it, you know? Um, especially if it doesn't go the way you expected it to go. Yeah. People are going to be really agitated, mad, I angry, so. upset, frustrated, told you so, all those different yeah. things. And, uh, I mean, I, classic situation, I think, for Ryan Garcia primarily mm. because he's the one who initially said, I want Tank Davis, yeah. you know? Of course, it was talk who wins in the fight between Tank and Garcia, and you you pre- present that question to Tank, and Tank is I would do whatever, and but Garcia is the one who literally stuck his neck out, like mm-hmm. put the fight on, make the fight happen. You know, I think mo- more fighters need to do that because at the end of the day, would you? I personally would rather be remembered for being that warrior opposed to being the warrior, but. You know what I mean? I think a lot of fighters have a butt after their name at this point. And that, that's another guy that, I mean, Zapata didn't make the weight, but Gabe Rosado, a lot of losses. Yeah. But Gabe, we know Gabe Rosado is a warrior. Yeah. And he going to get up there and fight anybody, anytime, any place, yeah. anywhere. Yeah. But just, just some of you guys going to go down as, man. Yeah. Like, it's hard to me to say Gabe's a Hall of Famer. Probably not because yeah. he got the victories. But, yeah. man. Gay will give you everything he got. Yeah, and yeah. that's sometimes it's all you can ask from guys. Yeah, that's it. yeah, and that's uh, you know, that's the hard part about this sport is when you do put your neck out there, you you put everything else out there, your reputation, mm-hmm. um, you you risk expo- exposing yourself, uh, you risk not being able to make the same amount of money you made. Of course, all of those things were put in the negative text, but the the the, the positive of that of that is all of those things enhance. Mm-hmm. You put your you put your reputation on the line, you win and and it just increases your reputation in terms of who you are and the list goes on, you know. So uh honestly man, I, I feel blessed that I was able to do it the way that I did it and just I it hasn't really hurt me the way it's it hurt a lot of other fighters, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um big baby. Yeah. Big baby got do, big. Do, do, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Like, yeah. it's been it's been two years. Uh, excuse me, it's been four years 
Since and, suspension? And, yeah, all those suspensions has been through the course of four years. And this is what you come back with. Nah, he fought somebody before this. Yeah, you're right. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. What's a couple? That was a couple months ago. Like what? In the last three to yeah, f- three it, months. It wasn't four months, very maybe. long. They were both they were very big guys. Yeah. Uh, and the super it was Derek Cardenas. Yeah. That uh, was what a two round fight. Nah, it, it, it was a ten round fight. It went four. He got him out of there. Yeah. No, yes, but it went four rounds. Yeah. Yeah. I said two and went four. Yeah, he, he won. He fought twice last year. One fight, he went all ten. So he, he wanted to show you he in shape. So maybe if anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <he> said, <laughs> <laughs> But then he's not in shape, you know? Yeah. Then so, he's not in shape. Did you see highlights or anything in this fight last I night? saw highlights. How was it? It, it was okay. It was okay. It was It was okay. Came in at 333. My other guy came in at 277. Yeah. If he's around that, at this point, if he's around 300. I mean, you take a look at the body. He's got a 330. Mm -hmm. You say lose 30 pounds, your body's going to be a little bit better. But here's the bottom line for big baby Jarrell Miller. And I didn't write any of this down. I don't need to write this down. Here's the bottom line. Styles make fights. For For his style, he needs to be lighter. If he's lighter, he performs better. Um, 2016, 2022. If he's lighter, he performs better. People want to see you. He's always been a bigger guy. What's his age? Because but, but he always had a little muscle under there. Because he's fighting through two things. He's he's fighting through thirty four. He's fighting through his reputation of let's put it call it spade with a spade. He's he's fighting through the reputation of being a cheater. Yep. So yeah, that's, undefeated too. That's going it's going to no take you a long time to overcome four years of disputing and being. Caught and all these testing positive and all, it's gonna take you a long time because of four years of that, and people have tried to put you back on, and it, and it happens mm-hmm. again. It's like, who's gonna trust you? I guess right now this was a Golden Boy card. If he's not signed with Golden Boy, maybe they'll look to do some things with him. I have no doubt. <laughs> Bernard is gonna tell him exactly what I'm saying right now, no, big really? baby. You gotta lose some weight. You gotta lose some weight. If you're not losing some weight, we can't put you on. We gotta find somebody to get you in the ring with. Because number one, you got to find a fighter to say, okay, mm-hmm. and look beyond everything he's done. Mm-hmm. What fighter is really going to want to do that? So once Golden Boy, whoever it is, finds that guy who's willing to to, to buy to, to 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 accept the money that they're that they're given. I think the guy that he just fought was forty three. So you you know like it's never going to even itself out. So the best thing he can do, he can talk himself into a fight. Mm-hmm. But I can tell you, Deontay Wilder not gonna touch you, and and it's it's at this point it's substantial. Like you, is what it is. Tyson Fury's not gonna touch you. Uh, I I I think that a fight with um Anthony Joshua makes sense because he's not elite anymore. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have that elite status or reputation anymore. Uh, Alexander Usyk ain't gonna touch you. You're undefeated. You're 34. You you want to fight the best. You're from New York. You ain't here to play games. Let's let's call it. It is what it is. So he got a lot to fight through just to get in the ring with the elite. The best thing you can do <laughs> in terms of trying to get in the ring with the elite is get your weight down and perform and make people want to see you against the elite. Make people want to take you serious. Nobody's taking you serious because of your uh, situations. And then on top of that, you're overweight and you're fighting 43-year-old men. Hold on, Sean. There was a guy that jumped in the ring last night and went to rumble with him. Oh! Yeah, something like Ma Char. He's 34 and 4, 20 KOs. He's 38 years old. He's from, uh, he, oh, he lives in Dubai? And he went to rumble with him. Okay. This guy right here, home. <laughs> this guy right here. He, so he got in the ring last night, started talking a little mess. I think Big Baby Miller said, if the money's right, we can make it. Where he come from? Dubai. Okay. Well, he's German. Yeah. Lives in Dubai. Uh, birthplace is Syria. Uh, okay. I'm down for it. He is 34 and 4. And so, again, like, now you show up. Now you show up. Now you got somebody that, that jumped in the ring and called yeah. you out. You know? Um, and I, I, I do. I feel like we spent too much time on this as yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but, Baby Miller. you know, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, so, obviously, Personality mm-hmm. out of this world. 
um, has the the size <laughs> to fight a heavyweight. Mm-hmm. Um, just needs to do some, you know, some soul searching and some and some commitment, like make some commitments, stay stay true to those commitments, mm-hmm. and show that you're doing all the right things to to get people to want to see you against the best. Because at 34 years old and you are undefeated, you need to be in the ring against the best and nothing less. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did that. that. I did that. I did that. All right. So now we move on to what next week? Yeah, let's move on to next week. Next week. Hey man, we got a great card next week. Hey, Sean, first off, we got a we got a busy week. When we starting off? Thursday? Wednesday? We no, get no, going? no. We start Wednesday. Wednesday when you yeah, get we'll, 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 we'll do that last. Okay. Look. So the Portaway Podcast, you know, we do them I or is I'll call it our media blitz. You call it a media blitz? Yeah, we everywhere. I call it just a week of lives. Yeah, we, we, we look, it's like a Super Bowl week, weekend. The Portaway Media blitz. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. I like so, it. I like you know, it. We're gonna like have it. our setup. We're gonna be around the town. You'll see if you see us out, come by, say what's up. Mm-hmm. Hit up Dane, he'll have a shirt. Hey, uh listen, my braids aren't fresh, so no more singles on me, okay? Oh, somebody thank you. Somebody told me to tell you <laughs> why every time I see him his hair messed up. I say it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did the, you know, I hate when people say something. Uh, 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 like, <laughs> you don't even know him. So it's I, not. <laughs> I'm like, but I think they be seeing like our, the weeks leading up for the fight, uh-huh. I'm like, well, we got a barbershop show, and that's when he does his hair. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, every time I see him, his hair messed up. Oh, yeah. You know, all at right. the end of the day, I just don't give a damn what y'all got to say. Yeah, thank you. So, so, <laughs> no more sick. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll, we'll be around town, but uh, Saturday night, we got a good one, man. We got a good card. I think we've been waiting on it. This is what I don't give a damn about the card. I get, I give, a, I give. A, you, I don't you, think I care about that main event. No, no, no. We ain't gotta skip it. But I just want you to know. Hey, like, what is this? Six year in the making? Four years? No, nah, it can't be six. It's four, at least four, at least four. Lee, time flies. Boy, this so is maybe even four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, but we can't go straight to the main event. Yeah. But we the opening show, and uh. It gets, it gets going early. Be good. It's going Chris good. Colbert, Jose yeah. Venz, Val, Vazuela, Valenzuela, sixteen and one. Yeah, Colbert, uh, Jose's twelve and one. They both coming off of L's. Mm-hmm. You know, usually people don't do this. You was one of those guys got a ring with killers after L's. A lot of people. Hey man, let me let me get a couple victories. Well, I you know I really wouldn't consider uh, Chris Colbert to be a killer per se. Sharp boxer. That's a, that's a tough fight. Oh, no, no, it's a tough fight. Yeah. But a, like when you talking about killers, like you. You know, like sleeping people. He not sleeping people. Now, hold on, who you got in this fight? Uh, no, no, no. I got. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I got Chris. Even, you got Chris? I, yeah, makes sense. If I'm Chris, I blitz him just like that dude did. Venezuela is strong. Ugh. Interesting to see what happens. Wh- who he is now, mm-hmm. coming off of this defeat. Interesting to see both of them. It's been a long time for both fighters. It's been a long time. One year. <laughs> yeah. Nope. One year for Chris. Mm-hmm. A little six, less. Than six year. months. Yeah. 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 So yeah, who are you after a loss? Yeah, that, well, that's after a, that loss, that's what that's both of them, Sean. Yeah, 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 both of <laughs> like them. Like one took a physical loss, the other one took a, a mental, a mental, emotional loss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is this is a crossroad fight for both of these guys. Can I say 50 50? I know I have yes, people. Yeah, y'all yeah, hate yeah, me you can do. I, I'll go 50 50. 50 50. This yeah. is a 50 50 tough fight. I'm picking Chris, maybe. Because you talking about you said if you were you were Chris. If you were Chris's coach, your game plan would be to blitz, Jose? No, no just be smart, kind of like the Dominican kid. Be, yeah. Uh, just counterpunch him. Yeah. And then kind of get him. Well, if you get him if you get him buzzed, yeah, blitz him. Yeah. But the other guy was just too clean, too smooth. The other dude was 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 strong. That Dominican style. Yeah. Strong. Uh, uh, veteran. All that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That guy was all that. Um, so all Chris. Edwin uh, De Los Santos. Yeah. Um, who I'm looking forward to seeing fight again. Like yeah, when he is he fighting? He hasn't, that was the last time he was in the ring. Yeah, when is he? I fight? think he got nothing scheduled. Nothing scheduled right now. Yeah, so that's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, and I, I remember when it was talked about. We was we were hyped. We were like, yeah. oh, that's a good fight. That's yeah. a good fight. But it starts off hot. It starts off hot, then it keeps going. To the, oh, let me say because uh-huh. I really want to start previewing these fights. I don't think Chris Colbert's. Uh, well, that's not his style. His style is not the blitz. Yeah. Uh, I could see him coming to the middle of the ring, wanting to counter punch and be fast, and very quickly using the entire ring to stay away from Jose and pot shot and moving and, and and dancing on him. Um, but that's a lot of heat to keep off of. That's him. a that's a bit experience will matter in this fight for both guys. Absolutely, I mean, 
one of those fights that's kind of like written in the stars, so to speak, because mm -hmm. both guys have the style to beat the other, the opposite guy. Both guys has both been through this, <laughs> this adversity that will literally make or break you. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So this is a make or break fight for both of these fighters. Yes. I think Jose is going to come out strong trying to blitz. Okay. Lot, like you just said. Okay. And um, you didn't, you didn't withstand the heat the last time. So maybe you've corrected some of those wrongs. I know one thing, Chris got he's got to have some power behind that on that backhand because and respect exactly. And if he don't, Jose's gonna keep coming. The question we just said: Who are you after that that bad loss? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, Jose's gonna come to the ring wanting to be everything that superstar that he was building up to be. Which means he's gonna come out strong, fast, and hard until the fight. And, and, and as long as the fight lasts, yeah. I should have should have went with that. To, you know, I've been rhyming all day. Hey, you, you're getting it done. <laughs> yeah. So fifty fifty fight right there. It's a fifty fifty fight. Um, I got fifty five forty five. Chris. Chris, <sighs> what do you guys got for that fight? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a close fight. I just know what y'all got for that fight. God dang, I I hate predicting fights, man. Um, you right? Uh, come on, what you got? Yeah. Go 50 50? Draw? Draw? <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. I'm trying to see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh I gotta go. I gotta go with Chris. I think Chris is gonna outbox him. I'll slick him. That's probably what we've seen. Last like, you gotta Jose. have power against Jose Valens. Like, yeah. I'm going Jose. Okay. I'm going Jose. Bingo. Jose. It's, it's split right here at the table. Yeah. So then next fight, we got Sean Guy, Joey Spencer <laughs> versus uh Ramos. This is the Tough Ramos this right here. The tough Ramos. This, this is, is the, Jesus this is, Ramos, this is, right? This is, the tough Ramos. This is the Ramos. This, this is, is Jesus yeah, Ramos. Yeah, this is that young right? boy. This is that this young is, boy. I think I, I don't think you can say that, though, man. You what? can't say this the tough. Because, I mean, they're both tough. Yeah. Hey, if, honestly, if they said, hey, man. <laughs> hey, that, that that Kenny boy, that the, the dad, you know, they fight. They got that boy, Sean Porter. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. That's a, <laughs> that's a tough Porter right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, mean, yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ramos versus Spencer. You know, we always said we Spence, sir, Spencer. Yeah, Spencer. Yeah, uh, we always say we want him in a big fight. This is this is a, this is a jump right here. It don't get no bigger. This, than yeah, this is. I mean, we wanted it, and uh, you got it. I think the the thing that I worry about uh, with Joey is Joey opponents building up to this fight. Mm -hmm. Has Joey faced anything close to this? Mm -hmm. I say no. Mm -hmm. Ramos has faced. Great opponents. Mm -hmm. uh, the last guy that want to beat his uncle, uh, he took care of the business. Also, I think, I think he got Coach Wade in his, in his corner, right? Is this? Yeah, hey, you're right. Yeah, and he's, yeah. he's working yeah, with, with, with Coach Wade. So, you know, I'm rolling with so far, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just think Ramos, man. I think Ramos is gonna be a. He's I'm what what's he say a contender? I think he got a shot at being a. Tough fight contender at 154 for guys. Uh, Jesus, right? Yeah. This is this is that crossover fight for both fighters. Yeah. So this one, is the one, one fighter that... move into contender mm -hmm. uh, status after yeah. this fight. So. But also another side with Joey. People always said he was the one. He got he got. People say he got certain treatment, but they, everybody say he has the skills. This is your time to prove it. Yeah. You show you prove it. You show up in this fight. You handle your business. All that gets wiped off the table. People thought what they seen in fights where you should have lost and you didn't show up. They feeding you trash fighters. All that, if you handle business this Saturday, yeah. all that goes away. Yeah, uh -huh. you got a tough, tough uphill battle. Very tough. And I think that <clears throat> the thing is with Joey is it seemed like no matter what the opposition was, it was like he just did not fight a complete fight. Mm -hmm. And you usually don't fight complete fights until you're in 12 round fights mm -hmm. where there's multiple things that need to come out against elite great fighters. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's fights where, you know, you're in a four round fight and there's so much power being displayed against, you know, 50 50 fighters that you don't get to demonstrate the kind of boxing that you have or the kind of kind of punching ability that you have. And the list goes on. But that never was the case with Joey. The case with Joey was just that he just. It was like he just underperformed fight after fight. And so the thing is, it's like those experiences are supposed to build you for the big experience yeah. that you're about to have. And it's like, it's hard to bet on Joey because we didn't see the best of you against 
50-50 fighters, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, we saw hints of it. I personally saw moments. Um, I saw moments in fights. I didn't say yeah. I didn't see moments through the course of one whole fight of who Joey is, you know? And um it seemed like even in his last fight, he still was struggling a little bit with his identity. Do I want to That's counterpunch? Do I want to be aggressive? Do I want to do the shoulder roll? And it's like <laughs> you go through three styles in three minutes. Damn, boy. Like, use one style for three minutes. Use another style yeah. for three minutes. And then find out which one of those styles you need to use to win the fight. You know, so. keep you guessing. Yeah. So, but on the other side of that, I think Jesus is very structured. He is um, very conventional and successful with what he does very well. He likes to be aggressive. I did see him struggle in his last fight as well, just a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. But he he is very aggressive, um, can punch from the outside, knows how to put his ones and twos together to get to the inside. How does this fight pan out? Mm. I think this fight happens in the middle of the ring. I think that this is a round-by-round round fight. Is still tonight? Uh I like the first one too. <laughs> I, I like, like the, the last one. one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this is a great car. It's a great yeah. car. Um, decision. Yeah, decision. Hey, Sue's Ramos. Yeah, that's what I'm going. I with. think he's more consistent to this yeah. point. And I think that when you haven't been consistent, and it takes you, this is your fight. This is the fight <laughs> where you where you have to be consistent through the course. I think this is a ten round fight. Yep, 10 rounds. And you have not been consistent through eight. You haven't been consistent through six. And so, uh, Jesus, uh, decision. I think Jesus outpunches um, Joey. And Joey plays catch up. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think I'll roll 7 3, Ramos. I see 7 3. Yeah. But uh, I see 7 3. Yeah. He, he just, I mean, it's just. Opposition. That, that's my biggest. Oh, this is what I'm sorry to cut you off. This is what I wanted to say about that fight. Everybody talks about the best fighting the best. And uh, you talk about, like, like for instance, you, and, and I'm not comparing these two, but you talk about Terrence and Arrow getting in the ring. Y'all talked about Terrence and Arrow getting in the ring, what, three years ago, four years yeah. ago, four years ago. Y'all wanted him them to fight before Arrow and I fought in 2019. Yeah. That is... Three to three years past or four years past that time. So this is the kind of fight that you would have had back then. This is like, no, these these two guys aren't the stars or the elite of the division, but these are two guys who are rearing their uh their um their their peak. Yeah. Rearing their peak. And this is the kind of fight that you would have had. So when you're talking about the best fighting the best, this could be the premature of the best fighting the best. They so, fighting so early that we could get it again. So you never really know mm-hmm. when's the right time, which is why promoters do have a hard time matching up these fights because you wanted the best against the best Arrow and Terrence four years ago. Mm-hmm. Same thing with this one. This one could be premature. Four years ago, those guys could have been premature. Obviously, three years ago, those guys were not premature. Two years ago, no, those guys weren't premature. But before you had Errol and and Sean, you were talking about Errol and Terrence. Could have been premature. This is definitely a premature uh, best against the best kind of kind of fight. Just hope it lives up to it. It will. Okay. It will because uh, Jesus ain't going he, he, to... He's not gonna let uh he's not gonna let Joey not not fight, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah. like 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 we've talked about Joey underperforming. Yeah, yeah. If he's Joey, gonna have to fight. He's gonna have to fight. That's my point. Yeah. You you're fight, uh, back against the wall. Yeah, your back is against fight the wall. Fight or flight. Yeah. And I think he's gonna fight. Yeah. So I do too. I do yeah, too. It's gonna be a good one. Then a co-main event. Crawley versus Ramos. Uncle Ramos. Yeah, Uncle Ramos. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ramos. Yeah. <laughs> but Crowley, I mean, I mean, Crowley is what he is. Give you a tough fight. He's going to punch. He's punching all both, night. Both guys kind of. Yeah. I, yeah. Think, I think this will be one of them. Uh, this is time for David and Caleb to get ready. He's going 12. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this fight, goes, Crowley, Crowley this fight gets, goes 12 yeah. unless somebody lands yeah, something crazy. Crowley can, but. Yeah. Both guys can. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Both guys can. Yeah. Uh, Able can punch. Yeah. Crowley, I think that youth on this side ages my man, but. Yeah. Yeah. 
Could be upset. I sparred with Crawley. Oh, how was that? Again, ready for um for uh for Terrence. Boy, okay. it was tough. Was it? Oh, it was. Boy, it was tough. Yeah. Okay, he was on it. Dealing with my own shit, but 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 the boy was tough. Yeah, he was on it. Yeah, he was on it. He came down here. Yeah, he right. lived. I think he lives here. Oh yeah, he does live in yeah. Vegas. Yeah, yeah. he's from. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. a good that's some good sparring yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, but, I did not spar for it with him for this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Well, what they got to do with anything? He was, like, he was like, that's some good spar right there. Yeah, yeah so Terrence <laughs> fight. Uh, uh, he got a chance to make some noise in the welterweight division. Right now, they say, I've seen someone on Box Rec. He's number five. That's yeah. out of the elite. Yeah. With the Spence, the Crawfords, the yeah. Ennis, and yeah. whoever else is. Crawley is. Thurman. Awkwardly, like, like he, it's funny you used you just said Thurman. Like he reminds me of Thurman, not not Thurman Power, yeah. not Thurman like prime Thurman ferociousness or nothing like that. But he's awkward. He likes to move, but he can like stop on a dime and hit you. Mm -hmm. He has this um this athleticism that is really deceptive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Speed that's deceptive. Power that's deceptive. I definitely I didn't know who he was the first time I sparred with him. So I was like. Whatever, like let's and just get the respect out the round. Yeah, I was like, let's just get this work in today and let me go home. And yeah. I was like, oh shit, like this is tougher than I expected it to be, you know. Yeah. And I think I went through a whole goddamn week of that, you know what I mean? So he's need. tough, yeah. Yeah, 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 and he's tough. And obviously, we know what Jesus bring or Abel brings as well. So this is a twelve round fight. Um, I think Crowley is gonna win this one. Okay, yeah, he's gonna use the ring, our box. Got a feeling something crazy gonna get landed by one of these guys, and it's gonna be a little bit more entertaining than what we we're kind of projecting it to be right now. And we'd love for that one to end early so that we can get to <laughs> Plant versus Benavides. Oh, oh man, I've been waiting on this all my life. I felt like <laughs> it. You know, we're getting so much good fights. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Terrence, shout out to Earl. I don't give a damn about that fight happening <laughs> no more. I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, yeah. I know y'all probably got frustrated with it too, but yeah. hey, man, we're getting Plant Benavides, bro. Yeah. You know, I'm having a fight party at the house. If everybody asks, just because it's here, no, I'm not going. Sean, you'll be there, right? I will be there. Sean will be there. Sean got, matter of fact, you guys, once you guys find Sean, tell him to give you my ticket. I, I have <laughs> tickets for him, apparently. Yeah, so tell him, uh, Anthony said, give you my ticket and sit right next to him. If y'all see two random people <laughs> sitting next to me, That's they it. found me. <laughs> yeah, they found me. Uh, but man, this is the one, man. This is, uh, you got Caleb Plant. 22 and 1, 13 KOs, 30 years old, 6 1. Caleb bigger than I thought he was. Mm -hmm. he, he's a real, he's six foot. Yeah. Six foot, yeah. six foot one. Yep, he's real. Uh, 74 inch arm reach. Yeah. Uh, you got, then you got a. Uh, Knows how to use every single inch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> every single damn itch in them long arms, too. You got Dave Benavides, former two time world champ. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Caleb, former ch world champ. I ain't want to disrespect Caleb. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Benavides, uh, 26 and 0, 23 KOs, 26 years old, 6'2, 75 inch orange reach. Mm -hmm. now, I ain't realized how big he, I realized, I never, I don't, I've been next to Caleb in church, but I don't think I really realized it. But I did realize David, I'm like, oh, you big. You go to church? Yeah, yeah. You know, every <laughs> once in a while. I, I realized David, I'm like, oh, you big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, big well, well, yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, you big, big but. Too. Yeah. Cause, so I thought that was gonna be a, a difference maker, but then I seen Caleb I'm like, oh Caleb, that's basically the same size. Yeah. So that's not gonna really be a problem. But man, this is a a fight of moments, uh experience. Uh it's a it's a lot, man. This is this is a world championship fight. Let's this start. is everything we ever wanted. Yeah. I really do think this is gonna be the fight of the year. I could see it. I'm this so, is every and I know like when you're emotionally invested, when you like know Man, you, you gotta fight with these different this things. dude outside of fight uh boxing. Yeah. This is yeah. This is this is this is the one. This is man, I'm just this is it sucks that boxing doesn't is not big like like the popularity of boxing is not where it was in the 60s, 70s, 90s. Early 80s, yeah, 80s, early early 90s. Because this fight has all of the ingredients that everybody expects and wants out of a fight. Got and on top of that, you got what you got a championship title in the ring. Yeah. This oh, has do it, do it. WBC. Uh uh, what's his name? Has a WBC, right? No, no, he got stripped. 
Oh, that's true. But nonetheless, two world champions getting in the ring. Yeah. This has everything people be wanting to see, all that hey. hatred and drama and and then they be wanting to see both guys back it up and all. Mm. This got all that. There's a lot of things they're going to take advantage of. You know, Caleb, I mean, David, they call him Mexican mon monster. They say he stalk you. He's going to be on you all night. <laughs> Get your ass on me. I'm going to tie you up. <laughs> Caleb Plant, he, he getting a side time up. Yeah. Be fast, man. Yeah. Uh, stay one step ahead. Yeah. You fought, a, you fought Canelo, which is the top of the top. You've been in that moment. Take advantage of the moment you've been in and learn from that moment. Yeah. Yes. Why are you talking like that? You said he wasn't hungry no more. Oh, my fault. My fault. My fight. Just excited. That's All right. Let's take advantage of that moment. You've been up there with the Canelo. You've been, you, whatever, you got knocked out. Whatever. People been down before. Get your ass back up. Get to work. Put in the work. Learn from that moment. David hasn't been to that peak. Take him to that peak. Show him that, hey, man, there's levels to this. When those, this is different. When them lights turn on, I don't think David ever. I mean, the closest I would say in your fight, being your co-main event. Uh, for David, that don't matter. Yeah, that yeah, don't yeah. matter. I, I know. I'm just speaking. Oh, on oh, oh, I'm oh, just oh. speaking on Cato oh, Plant. That's yeah. it. We'll get to David. Yeah. I'm just speaking on Cato Plant. Just a couple things. Uh, His mind, I think, is gonna be the the component. Boom. The component. Boom. For him. You say that. I say this. You talking about Plant, right? Plant. Yeah. Plant. If you got to win this, and it be a non fan friendly fight, win it that way. Ooh. If you're getting booze because they saying, oh, you running? Don't let that affect you. Win it however. I've seen Floyd get booed. He don't care. Win it however you got to win it. Move on, bro. Hey, man, I love everything you're saying right now. Hey, win it however you got to win it. Get the hell out of there. I love everything you're saying right now because, because yeah, don't, go ahead. don't, because they're going to start. Boo. If he can't cut off the ring and catch you, boo. Whatever. Pop, pop. So he has the moment in the fight with, Can with Canelo. Everybody mm -hmm. knows that moment. I don't even need to speak on it. Then, then like you said, yeah. you're knocked out, get your butt up. Everybody's got knocked down. Get up, go back. Gets up, goes out. Not only defeats Anthony Durrell, but defeats him with the one thing that everybody in this world says you don't have, yeah. which is power. Which is you you just prove to yourself along to the world that you can that you can punch. But here's what was here's what was happening during the course of that fight. Coach Bradman kept yelling, no, stick to the game plan, stick to the game plan. Ah, that fight went eight rounds, I think. I don't yeah. remember exactly. Yeah. But through the, 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 the second half of that whole fight, of that fight, Coach Breadman kept yelling, stick to the game plan. I don't care what they're saying. Stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan. Stick. Kept saying it, kept saying it, and boom, it happens. Yeah. So guess what? Experience on your side. You get in the ring. You're moving. You're doing your thing. These rounds going your way. You start to hear some booze. Guess what? I've been here before. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn what y'all saying. I'm listening to my coach. I'm listening to my game plan. I'm using to my experience, and that's gonna carry me to my success. So I love everything you're saying right there, right now. Yeah. And By the way, if you can't tell, I think Canelo. I think Kayla gonna win this fight. Okay. <laughs> and after you, I said all that. Y'all probably think I think Kayla gonna win this fight. Until until I roll over <laughs> to the Dave Benavides. So, you know, I got David. I got David in this fight, but. And I'm not mad at you. Pressure. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. Can he withstand, well, this 12 round, this is a world title. This is a, I think this is considered a eliminator. Mm -hmm. So, can he withstand your pressure, the David Benavides pressure, the Mexican monster? Yeah. Be smart. Don't go up in there reckless. At the end of the day, this is the boxing game. I know you want to kill him, and I know he wants to kill you. Be smart. My biggest thing I worry about, David, is can he cut off that ring? That's going to be a big difference maker. Mm -hmm. If he can cut off that ring. And when you – and uh, it's another thing. When you get the moments, take them. Because yeah. when he's there, yeah. make him pay. Yeah. When Oh, you want to stay in the kitchen? Yeah. It's going to get hot. Yeah. It's going to get hot. Yeah. And he, don't, I always say about Caleb Plant, he didn't, he didn't get, I told, I said last time it was going to get tricky for him at the end of the fight. Hey, Caleb said, we ain't getting into the end of the fight. Yeah. So I, I feel like once he ate the ninth round, Caleb's fatigue starts to set in. Caleb starts to tr backtrack. Yeah. You can't have none of that against David. Yeah. You give David one moment. I don't know if he has the one punch knockout power. David. Yeah. I'm not positive. But, but he will he can Earl thump. Spence you. He can thump. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You're just, right. If he gonna break you down, right? Yeah. If he gets you, see any moment of weakness, yeah. 
He's taking advantage of And I've always said that Errol Spence was a thumper too. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel break like. Break you down. And you don't even realize you're getting broke down. And that's yeah. how. And, and, <laughs> He's like, I know. <laughs> Speaking first hands. <laughs> and that's how, that's how David is. You don't even realize you're getting broke down, you know? And so, David, when you have those moments. Uh, and he's standing in front of you. Let the combos go. Mm -hmm. Just let it off. I love. I love everything let, you said. Let that off. Yeah. Win the moments, and then that man, he then took a couple weeks off and said, "Yeah, I'm refreshed. Let oh, me yeah, come yeah, in here." Yeah, yeah. But uh, win the moments, and uh, uh, also, Mister Benavides, hope you did your, your your films, your studies, your X's and O's. You're going up with a good one. Yeah. And bread man. Yeah. You're going up with a good one. Yeah. That advantage I give to Caleb. Not yeah. even gonna lie. Yeah. That camp I give to them. Yeah. But I just think Dave Benavides is too big, too strong. Yeah. Too I love young. I love I love everything you just, just said about David too. I, he is his I think his style and everything is above. He's twenty six years old. Yeah. I think it's it's gotta be aggression as as we know. Smart that, aggression. That, 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 Smart on, aggression. Man. Where you coming from, huh? man? Wait. Where you coming from, man? Come on now. Smart it's got to be intelligent aggression. I say a ring IQ. Yeah. That's going to be big for David. I personally do not think that, you know, I I, I don't know, but it just, it seems like their 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 thoughts and their vibes are are on the same level. Yeah. But if I had to pick one, I would give the, the IQ edge, the brains to Caleb. It's, mm -hmm. Caleb is the kind of fighter who's very reactive. Which means he has to think ahead in order for him to react correctly. Mm -hmm. We he reacted correctly even in the Canelo fight, mm -hmm. more than the majority of that fight. He had a moment, whatever. So I I think that I give that edge to Caleb. So here's the thing: you just be very smart and intelligent with your aggression. Mm -hmm. You mix up your your um your your combinations. You don't allow you don't allow Caleb get to get going from the outside and stay going from the outside. Mm -hmm. Fight with him from the outside, you work your way up, and then you bang him on the inside. And like, like you said with, with, with Caleb, on the inside, tie up. Yeah, tie his ass up. Make, make, it, make it a hard night for him to get yeah. off that power and break you down and things like that. But then if you are Benavidez, when you get up on him, just throw. And he's, and he's tied you up, like bend back. Use that and body. All, yeah, use, use that body all over. Physical. This is a great fight, This is man. a physical versus finesse. This is, oh, man. This is a great fight. Oh, you like it? You like it? I'm speaking. I'm you feel it. like you're at church right now. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm loving it because I do. I think that when when everybody talks about styles make fights, of course, we look at it like it is just a saying. Mm -hmm. It is a common phrase because true fight fans and people who know boxing know that at any given day, this counter punch who's a, who's very fast and sharp, and as we can see, has power now, can beat this this aggressive. Uh, Jason like Mexican yeah. monster of David Benavidez, who's six two with seventy five inch yeah, reach, reach. You know what I mean? The, and the power is not lagging. You yeah. know what I mean? Like both guys are real. Um, and I, I mean, I got so much more to say. Uh, I spoke to um, I spoke to Sean this morning, and Sean said I went and visited. Uh, he said he visited um David, David in Seattle, yeah. and he said he said Man, I think he's special. I think that this is the fight where he shows us. That he's special. And I I do, man. I trust everything that Sean says. Sean says he has not shown us yet how good he is. He's shown us that he's really good. But I think this is the fight where he shows us how special he is. And even though I picked Caleb, when I heard that, I said, uh-oh. <laughs> I said, I said, uh-oh. Uh, here's why I picked Caleb. Because I think that Caleb is going to, Dave is going to walk into a lot of a lot of punches. I think that he's going to walk into some power that he didn't expect. Mm -hmm. And I think that while we're used to seeing him break fighters down, I think the things that he walks into is going to break him down a little bit. Okay. And even that playing field of that aggressive attack that he has, mm -hmm. I think that it's not going to be what we're used to, it, used to seeing. You know what I mean? And I think that Caleb is going to be able to maneuver and outsmart David through the course of a 12-round fight. That's why I picked Caleb, but... It's a 50-50 fight because David's got some speed of his own, as said to me by Zatel. I said, yo, is that is that speed real or is it just he was in the ring with him? I know, I know. We're gonna get there. Is okay. it is it is it real or is it just the fighters that he's that he's fighting against and he looks fast or whatever? He said, No, the speed is real, man. I, I saw it firsthand. It, the speed is real and he is going to be a problem from the outside as well as the inside. And I'm like, dang. Because if this fight goes to the inside. You would think that David has the advantage, but 
I've seen Caleb dig like to the I body. Moments. I've seen Caleb dig to the Sean, body. You say body? Body work will be the most important part of this fight for both fighters. Both fighters. Can you slow the <laughs> Mexican monster down? Can you slow Caleb down from moving? Yeah. Yeah. If y'all go back and y'all watch Caleb against Anthony Durrell, Caleb throws a lot of straight shots to the body, straight straight jabs, but they're stabbing jabs. And y'all y'all they heard, heard they hurt. Y'all heard they Andre hurt. Durrell talk they about hurt. the stabbing jab. They hurt. Andre Durrell. Andre Ward. Yes, they hurt. Oh, okay. Goddamn. You've uh, been in there with him. Stabbing jabs. That's why you call it stabbing. <laughs> it's not a fast jab. It's a stabbing jab. Uh -huh. And he's also got that 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 straight right hand. Stop on the dime. Throw the straight right to the body. You know what I mean? Like. Those are punches that you you get caught up trying to block like this. My shirt's a little tight because I'm a little little heavy set right now. I just ripped it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it didn't, y'all. No, it didn't. But you block right here, but then look, it opens you up. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I just think that on both on all cylinders, man, this is gonna be a great fight. Somebody talked to me and said, "Yo, you spar with both of them. What do you think?" I said both fighters are not who who I spar with. You talk, you, you speak on Kayla first. I think the first time I spar with Kayla might have been 2017. 2000, maybe 2016, and I was just ahead of him. I won't say I was light years ahead mm -hmm. of him, but I was ahead of ahead of him uh, physically. My punch output, um, my strength. Uh, I was out thinking him. I maneuvered he had, him. He was. He didn't peak at the time. No, he was. No, he ain't what he is. Fast forward. I sparred with him when he was getting ready for Canelo, and right before I fought, um, or before I fought Terrence, and it was good. Like night and day. Yeah. Just completely different. Cause you and, yeah, y'all picked him to beat Canelo. And like I and like I he told him. Yeah. And like I told my guy, I was like, I was like, yo, when I sparred with him for for Canelo, when he was fighting Canelo, like I tried to use a Canelo style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and so I tried to regress my punch output and try to, to regress my my foot movement and things like that. And it backfired on me because he's so sharp. You got to fight like me in order to get with to get with Caleb. If you're five seven and shorter arms, I think I got like my my reach is like seventy two or something like that. You know, um, David is none of that. Then you fast forward and like, well, you spar with David. What do you think? I say, well, I spar with David. I was in my maybe one sixty. David probably looked at me like he was getting in the ring with a welterweight. Yeah. He probably was one eighty at least. And was taking it light on me. What do you want me to say? You know? I say he found out after two rounds that he couldn't take it light on me. But how much is he going to really ramp it up against a guy he's looking at as smaller? I said, guess what? I was 160, 165 when I sparred with him. But I'm 5'7". And I fight at welterweight. So he's never going to take me serious as somebody who's going to bang him out. You know? Yeah. We got into moments where he used some speed. We got into moments where he tried to muscle me and use power. But I just wasn't sparring with a... David Benavidez, that's that fights at 168 coming into the ring, uh, fighting at 180, but he's a sharp 180, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, you talk about both these guys rehydrating. Both these guys going to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. David's going to be bigger than 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 yeah. um, than Caleb, yeah. you know? So um, even from that standpoint, if you say who's better from sparring with them, I spar with the somewhat out of shape David against a very good, Canelo or Caleb who's getting ready for Canelo, you know, mm -hmm. so it's really hard to determine who's better from that standpoint, but both guys got speed, both guys, as we can see, got power, both guys have um, styles that match up with this fight tremendously, mm -hmm. and that's why I think this is going to be the fight of the year. And you know, with, with Caleb, like, it showed me a lot in the, uh, in the Canelo fight, just mental. I play sports a lot, and I've been in his moment where, man, we we was winning. I'm like, dang, we have two touchdowns for a quarter. We got this. I'm thinking about the celebration. Mm. We lost every time. Mm. This happened in my life like five times. Woo! And I remember that feeling. You ain't never, you, hey, you know, you know, you when, it never happened, you know when it happened again? When the, the young boys played last year when they was up, they was beating oh, the yeah. team. Yeah. I'm like, oh, they, oh we going to, like, we, oh, I'm going to have the kids back. Oh, up, no, and you did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you put I that on say, them. I ain't say it. Yeah, yeah. But, but you put that on. <laughs> but hey, when you think, and that's me. And when you think like that, that's always. How could you it's not learn from that yet? It's in your, I'm just Let me you, ask you, have you learned from it now? Nah, because I always have like, oh, we, hey, yo, hey, you cover your fights? <laughs> I said, oh, after oh, this. Oh, you don't put that on me. Oh, yeah, I put it on you. Okay, you uh, owe me some money. You owe me you, some money. You get 
paid no matter what. That's true. That is true. Yeah, that's I've true. seen your hundred thousand dollar checks. That's true. Hundred million dollar checks. I mean, let me you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. There's too many zeros, man. He, he, zeros. Don't <laughs> he, he don't know. He don't know where the but covers go. He, I just worry that he gets comfortable when when he feels like he's a he's ahead. Think about it like this. Mm -hmm. Think about it like this. When you like that's that's a different game from boxing. Boxing yeah. is like one or done. Yeah. One, one and done. Mm -hmm. And so you had the situation with Canelo and you had to fight yourself back to mm -hmm. this this moment. You you don't regress and go back to having that same moment. You fight through that moment because you've learned from it. Yeah, hope, it's just different. Yeah, I'm not saying, hope, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I talk about you being a knucklehead and all yeah. that kind of stuff. You can say hopefully he learned from it. Yeah. The whole team learned from yeah, it. Yeah, hopefully. I talked I talk to Coach Wade the other day. I said, yo, I ain't going to say nothing, you know. When we we have our private conversations and stuff like that, but I can tell you firsthand that's something that they all learn from. Yeah, that that won't happen again. When you got caught on TV like that, yeah, that yeah you learn from that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm wearing one though, like with that condition, and that's why I pick Caleb. Is you, you you mean you mean you mean you pick uh, David? David. Well, that's why I pick David. It's a force field. Early in the fight, that force field gonna be big. Yeah. Caleb. Caleb's like, oh, he he can't touch me. Fifth round, I feel it, 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 it's a little down a little bit, but I'm I'm still comfortable. Okay. Eighth round, I'm, I'm it's still it's squeezing, but I'm good. <laughs> Ninth round, oh shit. <laughs> Tenth round, he on me. I gotta take some shit. Now I gotta make it to the end. I'm stuck on you. You talk, you immature as hell talking about force fields. I could I, I was force thinking, fields ain't I, real. <laughs> I, I can think. I don't know. I don't know. Your kids talk about force fields? No, nah, man. Okay. I don't even know where that came from because I never said that in my life. <laughs> but it makes sense. Yeah, but. That just, it ain't a force field. <laughs> like I said, and, and it, they're not even just a Canelo fight. I always seen that in a lot of Caleb fight. That yeah. The conditions. Yeah. The problem. Yeah. And uh, I ain't taking no shots to Coach Wade. Nothing, but yeah. I'm yeah. It's just, I think him as a. You can train a fighter, but you whatever that. You can't train for boxing. You, well, no, you can train a fighter, but whatever they're built to be. Yeah. You can't take. you A lot of times you can't take a fighter beyond what he's built to be. Yeah. Um, some fighters are built like like I'm. I was built to do everything that I did. My dad took me beyond. You and Floyd was two of the ones that had great condition. Yeah, yeah, great condition. Yeah, so they you can improve conditioning, yeah. but you can improve it to where where God wants it to be. Yeah. Once you meet that threshold, there's very few that can get pat get bust through that threshold. Yeah, especially when you're fighting in a world title fight. Yeah. But hey, from what we're saying, sound like we're getting a great fight. Yeah. Hell of a fight. Fight of the year, man. I know that uh Tank and Ryan are there that is the uh what 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 was I calling it? That was that like that's the fight of the year, like from a standpoint of I don't even know what the hell I was calling it before, but um this I believe is the fight of the year for, for fight fans. That's the fight of the year for the like the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. Tank and and and, and the Ryan. That is a that is an industry touching every single household type of fight. This one right here is one for fans to literally oh, pop some popcorn. And I, I trust me, if I was if I was ringside calling this fight, I would have popcorn with me. You, you're that hype about it. I'm that hype about this one. And then uh, what about the other fight that we might get the leading up? This is the extra fight. I throw it down. It literally says extra fight that possibly could happen. Both sides, they got a guy that... We'll, we'll fight if they have to. Okay. What the hell are you talking about? Jose Benavides Jr. I mean, uh, okay. And Coach Wade. <laughs> I, I can see it going down. They've been, they've been, they've been. No, they, no, they haven't started, but you know, Jose be wild with the mouth. Uh, Coach you talking Wade. About, you talking about senior. I don't know if he's, did you say, you talking about senior? You talking, talking about, about junior? The junior. Yeah, the one that, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you talking about junior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, and Coach Wade don't really go for that disrespect. Yeah, yeah. So, they don't run across Coach Wade. Yeah. Hey, uh, I like where I want to get him on a podcast. Coach Wade? Junior. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Junior. Cause uh I, you have you seen the um have you seen uh 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 the, 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 the new Cree movie? That that is the scene I'm in with him. Okay. You, oh, you, you see me? No, no, I see yeah, I'm you. in Cree 3. No, I know you was texting the body, I didn't believe you. <laughs> That's the one I don't believe nothing. <laughs> no, I don't believe nothing you said. I'm in another show too, we can't speak on you in it too. I'm in it? Yeah. Am I talking? They was here last night. Oh, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Right. Uh, man, that's, yeah, so that's our preview. Let's do this real quick. I know we're running long, and, and our uh, producer, um, oh, yeah, we got Mr. Havey, is going to be mad at us, but we got a, we got the uh, the Portaway uh, Media Blitz coming yeah. to y'all this week. 
What we looking uh, like? You, you, I asked you. I said, "What's the schedule?" You wouldn't text me the schedule. Man, you know. I wrote it down, but you know. Okay. You want to take a? I'll take no, a I, I got it. I got it now. Yeah, I, know I got you it did. from. <laughs> so we got the media workout. That's gonna be live at the MGM Grand Sportsbook, right out there, right, right where the sportsbook book, book is. Excuse me, right where the okay. sportsbook is. They're gonna build a ring up right there. They've done it before over the years. They're bringing some things back since the pandemic. I'm happy that they're starting to open some things up. Uh, so they'll they'll have the media workout right there. Um, everybody that's on the car, practically everybody that's on the car, will be there at some point doing the workout and also speaking to media. Excuse me. That is open to the public, so okay. you're more you're welcome to come around, stand around, and watch. Of course, if you're a fan of the podcast, come say what's up to us. We got some something jumping off this week. I'm gonna get to the end and, and announce this. Uh, Thursday, we got the press conference. That's going to be at the Ka Theater, not open to the public. Only media will be there for that. Um, that starts at 12 p.m. Uh, that will be live. So the media workout, we will maybe get live a little earlier than one uh, just to start bringing you guys in. Um, the press conference will be maybe a little bit earlier than 12 just to get you guys in and we'll do some previews and things like that before the press conference takes off. And then Friday, we got the official weigh-in that's also at the Ka Theater. Open to the public. So y'all are if y'all in Vegas, come holler at us. Come check out the weigh in live at 1 p.m. We'll be open, we'll be on live a little earlier than that. Um, just to again get you guys going with that. Uh the Port Away Podcast YouTube channel. Also, Friday, we're going to uh the Blade Barbershop. I told them, yo, y'all gotta redeem yourselves. Last time we was in there, it was dry, it was mellow. <laughs> Every time I got so that's my shop. And every time I go in there, I just look around, I'm thinking to myself, like, where the hell was this when I brought my podcast in here? They be in there live and 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 kicking it and all that good stuff. So um, I told them to liven it up on this one, or we ain't coming back. Mm-hmm. Now I didn't tell them that. But um, we'll be live at the um, barbershop, 5 p.m. for the barbershop pre-fight show. Uh, the Blade Barbershop, 7380 Southeastern Ave. Las Vegas, Nevada, 89123. Y'all are definitely more than welcome to come kick it with us. Come get a cut. You get a cut, it's on Ant. Get a cut. If Ant ain't there, it's on me. Yeah, we got you. Um, but just come hang out with us and kick it. Y'all know how we do. Open conversation. We talking everything boxing, anything that ain't boxing, whatever. Mm-hmm. We just want to have a good time and, and show everybody how uh, how the barbershops kick it and uh, show everybody that real live barbershop talk. Other side of all of that, my guy, shout out to DDA. Y'all have seen our um, our road producer, DDA. Uh, he has been in the EA sports industry for a minute now. Mm-hmm. And he does his streaming back home in Ohio. Shout out to Akron, Ohio. I said, yo, you played the game yet? He said, yeah. I said, yo, uh, can we do that game while we're doing the show? He said, yeah. So here's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to have the Undisputed video game streaming while we do our show, oh, he he's gonna be stressed, and that's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna have somebody with a camera on him at man, all man times. Lives for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have somebody with a camera him on him at all times. But he's telling me that we can have the go- the game playing, do our thing, cut to the game while we do our thing, and we'll hopefully be able to interact with fans, go in and out, of things like that. This is not a live game where you can get on and play away from us. Come if you're if you're around. Check out the game, play the game. You can demo the game and things like that. And um, beyond that, man, I am a, a, a ambassador for the game. So this is a part of me doing what I do outside of boxing. So I'm um, definitely looking forward to this week. And uh, we're going to try to capitalize on this undisputed video game, showing you guys, giving you guys a live glimpse if you have not been able to see this game, if you have not been able to play this game, for you to either see it or come out and play it if you if you're in Las Vegas. So... Um, nonetheless, man, this is Showtime pay per view. This mm. is a car worth buying, and I've said this so many times. The car, the the pay per view is not for the main event. The pay per pay per view is paid so that you can you can buy an event. And from top to bottom, this car is fly. Y'all need to order this pay per view. It's a great card. If you're in Las Vegas, come on out to the MGM Grand Arena and um, check this one out, man. This one is gonna be a bomber right here. I think it's going to live up to the hype. Man, all that said, man, I do. I still got to do my motivation um, real quick. I didn't write it down, but it's okay. Um, this is what I got for y'all this week. 
uh, I'm using what's called transferable skills. So I started boxing, playing football, competitive everything when I was eight years old. Started boxing when I was five, six years old. Mm-hmm. The the uh, what do I? How do I want to say this? The, the everything that I've gotten from boxing, from the determination, from the competitive drive, from the self control, from the um, discipline to the uh, educating myself on nutrition, educating myself on business, uh, edu- my, educating myself on enunciating and doing what I do on TV. Everything that I do now that you guys see me do on TV, and I refer back to it last week in terms of how these other fighters need to start to speak to their managers, speak to their promoters, get these fighters, get these uh, get the business to work outside of just the business that it works within so that we can get the fights that we want to see. I do all this by using my transferable skills, the things I learned from boxing, the things I learned from football, the things I learned from school. I'll just transfer all that into being the businessman that I am now. Um, I can walk into any business establishment and they, they, they respect me and they trust me that I know what I'm talking about and I can handle the task that is subjected to me. So that's what my motivation to you guys is. If you're stuck right now, if you're not stuck, if you want to go higher, encourage yourself by understanding that you are built to do everything that it is you're doing. And I'm glad that I, that I, it brought me back to this right here because I didn't write this down, but this is what I wanted to give you guys. Every experience gets you ready for anything you want to do. So your experience, every experience gets you ready for any experience, but it's a matter of you being confident in what you can do using those skills that you've learned from everything you've been through to tackle everything, anything that you want to do. Let me try that one more time. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to see. I'm going I'm to cut real quick, and I'm going to see if we can cut this. Oh, my God. Do this, Hafey. Do this for me. Use your experiences from everything that you've done to get ready to do anything that you want to do. This is the portal way. <laughs>